This is USBI News, your Virgin Islands connection. Hello, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us today for this edition of USVI News. I'm Brissa Bradfield. Emily Matson has the day off. Our top story check today, a St. Croix man is brought back to the territory to face charges. Police say he stole tens of thousands of dollars worth of booze from a local grocery store. 30-year-old Jaheel Smith is facing charges, including grand larceny and embezzlement by employee. VIPD officers brought him back to the territory on Wednesday to face charges after he was arrested last week in the state of Georgia. Investigators say Smith was busted stealing several boxes of alcoholic beverages off the shelves at Plaza Extra East in October of 2020. The manager confronted him at the time and Smith admitted to stealing $60,000 to $80,000 worth of alcoholic beverages over several months, then sold them to several local businesses. Detectives conducted an extensive investigation, then issued a warrant for Smith's arrest. Well, meantime, COVID-19 case counts remain steady throughout the U.S. Virgin Islands. According to the VI Department of Health, there are currently 37 active COVID cases territory-wide, with 20 on St. Croix, 16 active cases on St. Thomas, and one active case on St. John. Well, meantime, it's a time to be with family and friends and to celebrate your blessings. But with severe respiratory illness spreading in some parts of the country, you may also need to protect yourself and your loved ones this Thanksgiving. USVI News' Emily Matson has more on how to reduce your risk of getting sick this holiday season. Across the U.S., respiratory illnesses are still circulating at a high level. We're being hit by, you know, three different viruses. RSV and the flu are spreading earlier than expected, and there's still COVID-19 to contend with. So as you gather this holiday, Dr. Maddie Saboni with The Ohio State University's Wexner Medical Center says you can protect yourself and your family. Make sure you're up to date on your vaccines. So that would include influenza, and that would also include your COVID vaccines. Testing for COVID-19 before you gather with loved ones can also help protect those who are vulnerable to getting severely sick, particularly those who are immunocompromised, young children, and seniors. Mitigation measures like masking and hand washing can still help too. If you are in an area that you can have, you know, good ventilation, open the windows, things like that, that's always beneficial. And if you're feeling sick after the holiday, Sabani says to alert those who gathered with you so they can be aware. Definitely during this cough and cold season, really staying vigilant about your own health and the health of others is going to be key. Emily Matson reporting. And according to White House leaders, when it comes to COVID-19, if you're up to date on your vaccines and you're able to get treatments, there shouldn't be restrictions on people's activities this Thanksgiving. In the meantime, the Virgin Islands Office of Veterans Affairs will soon host a Veterans Appreciation Day sale. This one is set for Saturday, December 3rd on St. Thomas from 1 to 4 in the afternoon. It was set for November 5th, but because of inclement weather that day, it had to be postponed. All veterans interested in attending the day sale are asked to visit the St. Thomas office between Monday and Wednesday of next week when you'll get a t-shirt that will serve as the ticket to get on the vessel. The day sale will include entertainment from the Spectrum Band, free lunch, and camaraderie. Boarding will take place across from the Banco Popular on the waterfront. In the meantime, 26 million people have applied for that student loan debt relief program President Biden announced in August. But a court of appeals has put that program on hold, prompting the Biden administration to appeal to the Supreme Court. Now he's once again taken another step to give borrowers more time they have to take and start making payments again. Natalie Brand has more details from the White House. So it's frustrating to me that we're we're in this situation. Thomas Goki is among the millions who applied for the Biden administration's new student loan forgiveness program and received letters like this one. The Department of Education, citing recently filed lawsuits, says for now it's blocked from providing relief. Goki, also an organizer with Debt Collective, described the stress of this legal limbo. Turning on their student loan payments is the difference between being able to put food on the table or cover their rent that month. We're not going to back down, though, in our fight to give families breathing room. 
The president says while the court battle continues, he's extending the pause on student loan payments until 60 days after a lawsuit is resolved or 60 days after June 30th, whichever comes first. I'm glad that they extended the pause. That's the bare minimum they could have done. It's very confusing as to how long this pause lasts. The Biden administration has asked the U.S. Supreme Court to weigh in after a lower court put the program on hold. A lawsuit from six Republican attorneys general argues the president is overstepping his authority in using the COVID pandemic as a national emergency to justify the debt forgiveness. Perhaps President Biden has simply forgotten that he declared the COVID pandemic over. The states filed their response to the Supreme Court Wednesday, and now the justices must decide whether to hear arguments in this case. And more than 12,000 Virgin Islands students qualify for President Biden's student loan relief plan. According to the Biden administration, 7,800 U.S. VI student loan borrowers are eligible for debt relief from student loans. And 4,700 Pell borrowers in the territory are eligible for Pell Grant relief. Well, meantime, if the latest Pokemon games are on your Black Friday shopping list, you'd better hope your local retailer or your favorite online source are well stocked. David Daniel has more in today's Hollywood Minute. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet are smash hits. Nintendo says global sales of the new games surpassed 10 million units in the first three days, the biggest launch of any Nintendo software in that time period ever. I like to be alone, I guess, you know? Mm, yeah. Safer that way. I get it. Justin Hartley and Barrett Doss are looking for answers, and maybe love, in the Christmas romance The Noel Diary, based on the Richard Paul Evans novel. Hartley says he was hooked by the script. You hope to get a role where you, you see a character a certain way, and you discover something about them that makes you go, oh, wait, no, that that's not exactly what I thought it was. He's got a lot of things to deal with. And then, in fact, he deals with those things, and it either turns out or it doesn't. And as an actor, that's something that's kind of a dream. The Noel Diary debuts today on Netflix. Maybe it's time we call our expert. We promised we wouldn't. I don't know who else could help. God, I hate how easy it is to pick this back up. Garcia and the Behavioral Analysis Unit return in Criminal Minds Evolution. Original cast member Kirsten Vangsness says she loved expanding the long-running series. I get to do so much more stuff now than I did before. And all of us do. All of us feel so... I mean, I don't want to speak for everybody, but I know because we all talk about it, like how steeply satisfying it is. Criminal Minds Evolution premieres today on Paramount Plus. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Well, meantime, on St. Croix, a heads, a heads up for drivers this weekend. VIPD has a traffic advisory on St. Croix. This is, again, a heads up for the 2022 Beauty and the Beast Triathlon. On Sunday, November 27th, the St. Croix Triathlon will take place from 7 in the morning, starting with the swimming portion at Kramer's Park Beach, and will finish between 10 a.m. and noon. Virgin Islands police are asking motorists to drive carefully in the areas during the triathlon's cycling and running segments. All roads and intersections affected will be controlled by police officers and may be closed and open as needed to ensure the safety of all participants.